is born. What do you mean? I said, what are you doing watching the mirror? I wasn't walking in the mirror to get this thing out. You know? Huh? My sister that passed away, her baby that died, I was with her when she had her. I see my ex roommate's um, sister in law have hers, but I never see like anybody. I was in the waiting room with my yeah. before. They wouldn't let me in because I was like a freshman in high school. I think I was like 14, 15 at the time. They wouldn't let me in the delivery room. How was it when you had me? Well, that was an oddball thing. Because I was living with Mrs. Troxel, this old lady that used to be my foster mother. Out on Emmaus Avenue, and they, my kids were all born in Sacred Heart. And um, I woke up, must have been like six o'clock. I said, "Oh shit!" I, mean, I knew it was. I was having bad pains in labor, so her son took me to the hospital. They thought I had the baby in the house, and they checked me and everything. And it's like, "Yeah, you're in labor, but you're not dilated. Go home." I'm in full labor. I had no ride. I were in Timbuktu land to get back there. I said, how am I going to do this? What am I going to do? And my sister, Snot, at the time, lived by 7th and Gordon. And Sacred Heart is at Fourth and Chew. I don't care if he's Gordon or not. So, maybe from her house, I mean from the hospital to her house, took me like an hour and a half to walk. Cause I, how ignorant people are. I just kept stopping like, over, you think anybody asked, are you okay? I went to her house and she kept calling the doctor like, through this far apart, that far apart, whatever, and it's like, I was sitting and they said, wait, 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 and I kept having to go to the bathroom and all this white stuff I seen was coming out, right, and it's like, she said, you know, it's not coming out, I told her, she's like, it was my first baby, it's like, that's the mucus club, right, and all of a sudden I'm sitting on her bed because it's so painful, and she's like, I said, uh-oh, you're going to get mad, she's like, why, she's like, I said, I think I just pissed on your bed. So it's like, no, that's your water broke. The hell with what the doctor says, we're going now. So then Sacred Heart, the delivery room was at one end, I mean the labor room, and the delivery was all the way at the other end where it is now. So they put me on the thing in the clinic part to check me. Oh yeah, you're dying again. And they had me on one of the stretcher beds, but they didn't put the sides up. So I'm holding on the side and they're running me down the hall to the labor room. Like 10 minutes later, he was out. You know, and then they took me to recovery room. It was easy for me to come out? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you say they used the forceps on me? Yeah, not? his head was too big. They had to use it. <laughs> I said the hot dog fucker to pull his head out. He had pitch black hair and blue eyes when he was born. Not anymore. Yeah. So cute. He's like, that's because I had a big brain from the time I was born. <laughs>